Hi, I'm Robin from Top Pot Supplies and today I'm going to be demonstrating the Junior 4 Potter's Wheel. It's a tabletop model, weighs about 8 kilos and comes in this handy box, which is great if you want to transport it about. There's the wheel, let me get this box out of the way. So it comes with a foot pedal. The wheel is electronically controlled. And this foot pedal plugs in just by the mains power cable. I'll set it to zero. So you're going to have your foot on it with your heel here and your toes here. So that's the stop or off position. I'm going to pop it on the floor now. And then you get the tray, the slot tray, the drip tray. And I think you can just see there's a little drain here in the bowl to recollect the water you're using. And obviously we need to plug it in. So I'll just test that that's working. And that's fine. So it's about 200 revs at its maximum speed. It's a 150 watt motor. And I think I'm ready to start. So the wheel itself has no belt or cone drives. I say it's a uh, has a worm drive connection, so it's almost direct power to the wheel head. So I'm going to start with pouring some water into the drip tray. And I'm ready to start centering. Normally I'd sit down for this, but for this demonstration I'm just doing it standing up. Makes it a little bit more tricky. So that's the centering done, and I'm ready to open. I'm going to throw a bowl. I'm throwing a bowl because I'd like to show you the slow control that you get with this wheel, which is obviously important when you're throwing wide flared bowls. So you can get good control on the rim. If I make a little mark here on the rim, I think you can see that it goes around quite slowly. It's very controllable. I'll carry on now and just flare this out a little bit more. So, 
if you want a potter's wheel at home, or you want one to take to demonstrations, I can recommend the Junior 4. It's light, portable, easy to use in lots of positions, and you can find it at toppotsupplies.co.uk. Thank you.